I'll be honest. Let me eat really quickly. I've lost count of how many times I've tried to record this intro. Probably more than six times. I still have no idea how to do this, how to open this up. But my name is Bacon Cheese, and welcome, 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 welcome to the server tour. Um, so basically, chat was like, hey, you do some really big things. I can't really tune into your streams all the time because you're Australian and you stream at really weird times. So can you make a video or can you make videos sort of going over what you're doing, and what you're building? <laughs> so I thought, hey, let's do it. So anyway, this this is our iron farm. This is the iron farm that we've been working on for probably the last three or four days. I don't know, I lost count now. Um, so essentially, this is one of uh, Logitech, uh, Logic Geek Tech Boy, I don't know. There'll be a link in the description to his video. Um, of how this works and what it is, but essentially uh, we started off with two layers, one, two, right there. Uh, the rates were cool, the rates, you know, that was giving us enough iron uh, to, to maybe, you know, have a little bit of iron blocks to do a few things. And then we're like, uh, this is enough. <laughs> so we ended up adding all these layers and actually this was all the way up to, uh, to build height. If we fly up here, uh, this is literally, hang on, let me, let me get up here. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you. Uh, so this comes up to 255. <laughs> so we are pretty much at build height. Um, yes. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, this is a very large, obnoxious farm. Um, if you're interested in the rates, uh, it's around 13,000 items per hour there are a lot of inefficiency as, at the moment as you can see that boy is standing right there uh that's why i've got all these tubes that's why i'm building these tubes at the moment um because what i found is with two layers it kind of um it was all right like there wasn't a crazy amount of iron golems that was spawning that was uh basic <clears throat> basically making you know they were spawning nothing really nothing was really happening but when you start adding more and more and more layers, essentially ones will spawn up there and they'll be falling really fast. These ones here, they're pretty much like that. <laughs> that could be perfectly more timed. But yeah, as you just saw, those ones fall really fast. Those ones aren't falling yet. And sometimes the ones that are falling get knocked back uh, either onto back onto the platform, which is, which is fine because then they just fall off or they land on fences or uh, yeah, they land out here. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we've been working on. We've been working on uh, building just some tubes. Uh, also going to add some ribs here to the back. I don't know if you guys saw it before, but just up here I was playing with uh, playing with some uh, ribs like this, just so that way if they fall and they hit the other dudes, they're not going to be knocked back onto here. Um, so, the next, uh, so the next step is getting some more sand to make some more glass because... This was a lot more glass than I was anticipating. <laughs> so uh, that's that's the next project. We're actually going to head over to uh, the desert in a second. But before we head over to the desert to go do the sand thing, I want to sort of elaborate a little bit more on what this area uh, is and, and what we're really doing here in this uh, shroom biome. So first of all, I'm either thinking about leaving this obnoxious thing the way it is <laughs> or the other thought was to actually build uh, an iron golem pixel art thing i don't know how it's going to look because that is at build height um if i count if we i can't count this before and from this block here to uh the corresponding same block over here it's about 35-ish. Yeah, 35 blocks. Oh, there's a villager boy down there. What's he selling? Oh. Um, oh. I'm going to come back for you later. Um, oops. Can I get out? Hello? Okay, cool. So, it is roughly 35 blocks. Um, one thought is that uh, this could be... Hang on. Like the, the, the outside of these beds, the outside of these beds could be the inside of the leg. Uh, so where those beds are could be like the inside of this. Uh, and then obviously, yeah, we build it up and around. This chest plate's quite big, so it'd come out quite a lot. Uh, the head, I have no idea because uh, some of this would be showing at the top. I don't know. It's a, it's a thought. 
might have a bit of a play with it, see how it goes. But anyway, so the plans for this area, the plans of what we're doing. So this area is one of our second main AFKing areas. Um, but this area I wanted to be a little bit more based around uh, storing a lot of blocks. Um, so that way, basically we can send like stone here, we can send uh, cobblestone, we can send, you know, all that sort of stuff here and have it uh, compressed and compacted and stored in shulker boxes. Let me sleep because I hate the night time. <laughs> oh, let's sleep. Um, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, basically the plan is to turn this into a big mega uh, storage area along with uh, other farms uh, like this uh, warped, warped tree farm. Uh, I was actually planning on building a second one. Um, probably going to rip this all down, move it over a little bit and build another one next to it. Uh, one for warped, one for crimson. Um, here is actually a automatic uh, another warp farm. So essentially... You come here on a minecart and you just right click and left click uh, with a macro along here and you're able to break the nether wart and also place it. Uh, but yeah, so we're actually going to flatten out this entire island um, because hills are not fun to get over. And this place wasn't really going to be overly pretty anyway. It was just more going to be storage, uh, bigger farms like this that we wanted to keep unloaded. Um, we didn't want to keep you know, all this stuff loaded all the time. Um, but yeah, basically come here, do some AFK, AFKing, uh, have it all you know, sort, sorted and stored. I'm out of rockets as usual. Um, and we're also going to probably set up a villager trading hall as well. Uh, probably look at maybe getting um, one of every type of... Uh, like the librarians were going to be over at the uh, Enderman Grana, but we, we're probably going to get like one of every single Blackstone... Uh, or blacksmith, the other no, what are they called? The stone grinder people that sell the terracotta. Uh, so try and look at getting one of every single person that sells glazed, and also one that sells every type of uh, terracotta as well, just so that we can come over here and trade for it rather than having to craft it or uh, do other weird stuff like that. But anyway, time to go do the sand thing, and then we're going to come back and uh, play some glass for uh, probably probably a long time. Um, but I'll see you guys over the desert. And by the magic of YouTube, we now have a bunch of shelf boxes full of sand. So we are going to head back over to the iron farm. Uh, which direction? This way. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head back over there. Um, basically put it all in those furnaces and let it smelt. And then we're going to place all this glass. I am hoping... I'm hoping that this is going to be enough. I have a feeling that it's going to be roughly two double chests or one double ink. So we're back over here. Um, so we're pretty much just going to put these on top. Uh, and then basically the hoppers take out the sand out of the shulkers uh, and then feed into the hopper bind carts. Then we turn this on, which then powers the rails. I think we need to give it a quick little nudge and then they're off their way. Uh, this is probably the junkiest system <laughs> for a super smelter you'll ever seen, but it does, it does its job. It does its job. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fill this up with some, uh, coal. Do I have coal over here? I'm pretty sure. Yes. Cool. Cool. So I'm going to quickly fill this with coal. Uh, then we're going to let this smelt and then we're going to get to placing. So I will see you guys when all this is finished smelting and then we're going to get to placing. And perfect. So that is the third tube done. So just going to go back through. Well, I'm probably going to do this tube first. Uh, but then I'm going to go back through. Oh, what happened? I alt. I pressed something button and everything changed. <laughs> anyway, so then I'm going to go back through and do all these ribs. And then this should be all done. So I'm thinking tomorrow. Tomorrow during stream, I'm probably actually going to get... Um, 
this whole this whole storage uh, room down to oh I died. <laughs> uh, can I make this jump? Oh no, I cannot make that jump. Okay, uh, let me get my stuff back, and uh, and then I'll and I'll keep on uh, keep on talking. So as I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted. I almost just killed myself again. <laughs> uh, I think in, I think in tomorrow during tomorrow's stream, probably gonna get uh, this storage room done, or at least um, get it sorted down there. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something down there tomorrow. But yeah, we're gonna crack on uh, with this next tube, and then get all this ribbing done, and then and then and then and then uh, I'm probably gonna start digging out the hole for for the storage. So I will see you guys oh, when this is all made. And after many, many hours of placing glass, it was actually only like two hours. <laughs> the iron farm is finally complete. If you're interested in rates, uh, at the moment, it's producing between about 11,000 to, oh, almost fell off, 11,000 to 12,000. Um, I find that it fluctuates quite a bit. Uh, obviously because as the iron golems are falling, sometimes they reset these dudes, but honestly over 10,000 items per hour is enough, enough for me. <laughs> anyway, so um, as we come down here on today's, uh, today's stream, we actually built this uh, storage room down here. So essentially, uh, actually let's go back up, I'll show you how this works. Um, iron golem dies, uh, the loot is then dispensed out of that dropper, comes along here, aligns on here. Um, we, we're taking out the poppies at the moment. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's not full just yet. Are these? Okay. I probably need to sort them out before they start overflowing. Anyway, so, uh, the poppies taken out, uh, the iron uh, keeps them going, comes back around, uh, then drops down. And if we come down here real quick, uh, I don't have any blocks on me. Uh, let's just use this. Basically, uh, the items then come around. Oh, actually, let's just come this way a little bit and then we'll be able to have a look. Yep, so then the items basically fall down that chute right there. Uh, and as you saw like a little bit before, basically just flies around here. It's uh, basically goes that way. I don't know, it goes one way. I don't know, whichever way it goes. Um, basically filling up all these hoppers. Um, the plan was actually to take off a comparator signal off of this hopper here because this is the last hopper to be filled up. Um, we've actually got two inputs for this thing. We've actually got one there, uh, and we've actually got one here. So this hopper here is gonna be the last hopper filled up uh, uh, like along the back here. Um, but that hopper over there that I was talking about before is the last hopper that's gonna be filled up along here. Uh, so the idea was to take a comparator, a comparator signal off of that one, and also this one, where was it? This one. Uh, they run it into an end gate or something like that that allows us to um, turn on a redstone lamp that tells us these are that this is completely full. Uh, and the same with this side. Um, and then also the plan was to, to then also add uh, a bit of redstone that completely turns off that turns off the entire farm uh, when everything is completely full. Um, so right now, basically working on the crafting setup right now. Uh, I did have some science here before, but I think I heated them. Uh, basically, we're trying to dispense um, between about 1,400 items uh, that will allow us to basically stand here with an empty inventory. Uh, and we basically uh, like have iron blocks all here. And then we have enough, and then basically nine, nine stacks of iron blocks and blah, blah, blah. You know, you get the drift. Basically, craft it like that. Um, you, you just you know, before we go back here, just cover your eyes because there's a slight, and let me eat. There's a slight little bit of jank, all right? I just wanted to, I just wanted to prepare you for what you're about to see because I just wanted to get it working and then I was going to uh, compress it and simplify it and uh, make it a little bit more appealing. <laughs> Check it out. I think someone on dirt bikes driving past as well. Anyway. <laughs> Basically, basically, right, basically, you press this button, it, uh, really, really large, janky, uh, comparator, comparator clock, 
<laughs> shoots out all the uh shoots out all the iron that is a lot of iron holy moly and then uh then yeah, yeah you just sit here crafting 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 like so uh, obviously not all of these are full um this crafting setup will only work uh optimally when everything is full or at least at least the hoppers at least the droppers are full um so we'll have to afk for here quite so quite a while before we can um before we can start crafting uh but as soon as like these start filling up then we're, we're pretty much just waiting for the, like this chest to start filling up because then that means everything else is filled up and then like it will gradually fill up if that makes sense so that's gonna be it for today's episode I just wanted to make a video a little bit more about uh, a little bit more about how this works so that way for the people who couldn't uh, tune in tune in tune in for the streams over the last couple of days they could uh, catch up and see how this was built uh, this was one of the main projects that I wanted to get done um, like as soon as possible so we could have a really crazy amount of iron flowing so we can start building some stuff out of iron we have you know a crazy amount of hoppers um, and of course, we can start actually running this uh, stem farm uh, more reliably. Uh, but one of the next big things that uh, I wanted to work on, and actually probably what we're going to do uh, over the next couple of streams and probably the next couple of episodes of here, was actually we head over to the Wither Skeleton Farm. So we are over here at the Wither Skeleton area. <laughs> As you can see, it's a bit of a hole. <laughs> We've uh, started creating the, the perimeter for this area. Uh, this entire area was blown up with TNT, but we're not using flying machines or any uh, or any flying TNT dupers or anything like that. Uh, all this has been manually either mined out or with TNT that we've uh, gone and yeeted deserts with. Um, but yeah, so this is yeah, this is definitely something that we want to get done. Yeah, within the next week or two because we're starting starting to the point where you know we need a lot of haste beacons you know we want regen we want you know resistance and things like that but there's only like 10 or 12 total beacons in the entire world um so with this so with this farm it would really give us you know a lot of stuff um but yeah so the main thing at the moment is obviously clearing out the rest of this uh, then we're going to go through and clear all the lava, and then we're going to make the farm. This is actually a really, uh, really good spot, to be honest. Um, let's just not die and lose our stuff, please. Um, so we've got one intersection there. Oh, it's probably better if I fly around, actually. So we've got one, two, three, four next to each other. We've got four intersections pretty much stacked on top of each other, uh, which is pretty good, actually. I'm not too sure if I'll use this one here. Uh, I might end up just using those three. I'm not too sure yet. I want to probably destroy all this first and then decide uh, what we want to do. There's also a few blaze spawners around there that we might try and do something with as well. Um, just so that we're going to have everything in one area rather than having to go you know, here for here for wither skeletons, over there for blazes, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let's not do that while we're flying. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, there's also links to my Twitch, things like that if you want to tune in. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Catch you later.